happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent, we shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding! That man is a fraud! Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the Queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! 
you can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? Ah! <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? I like your shirt. Thank you. It's pink, my favorite color. It is? I wouldn't know. I can't see color. Why not? Mommy, why can't I see the color pink? Honey, it's time we have a talk. You'll only be able to see color when you meet your soulmate. So that means it will be a really, really long time until I can see the color pink? Hey, Brianna, what color is this pen? I don't know. <laughs> she can't see color until she meets her soulmate. Hey, babe, don't let them get to you. Hey, babe, are you still fine being with me, even though you're not my soulmate? Come on, you know I don't care about that. Let's go to the movies after school. Yo, bro. Hey, Jason. Brianna, you have to meet my buddy, Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Gummy, gummy. Who was the girl that left the house this morning? How do you know her? Come on, she was just a friend. It's not like that. What's my name? Come on, baby. Don't do this. If you didn't cheat, then tell me my name. Mommy, why doesn't Daddy know your name? Because, sweetie, Daddy cheated on me. When you cheat on someone, you forget the name of the person you cheated on. Hey, baby. Brianna, don't worry. I could never forget your name. I know. I'm just paranoid because my dad cheated on my mom back when I was seven. I love you. I would never cheat on you. Jason's having a party after school. Want to come? Sure. Hey, you made it. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, you're so funny and so cute. Well, you know, I... Blake? Uh, uh, bu bu baby, hi. Why don't you know my name? Morning, Daddy. I made you lunch, just how you like it, PB&J. Thank you. Honey, do you need a lunch? No, I got one. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day of high school. I'm so nervous. How about a homemade PB&J sandwich? Will that help? Of course it will help. Morning, Dad. You know what I'm really craving for lunch today? How about a PB&J? How did you know? Must have been a good guess. Dad? Dad? I'm off to college. I could really use one of your PB&Js. Honey, it's time to go. Are you ready? Where's dad? He makes me PB&Js every single morning. Dad, are you feeling okay? Yeah, why? Your father's been dead for over 10 years. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. So I've been meaning to ask, since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom, Enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know. I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic. Ah! But... 
Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, geez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> Purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What, isn't that a bad idea? Of course not, it'll be fine. Okay, I did it, it's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now, bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is, excuse me, is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. The, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm gonna be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just gonna blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just gonna reach this one. I feel like I should look. Okay, we might as well pick out a coat too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. We're now on the floor, and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Oh! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I oh, I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay. Hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. <laughs> Upon putting this top on, I realize that it's actually broken. <laughs> this is kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg. Mm, put it back down. Put it back down. Rate my outfit 1 to 10 in the comments. <laughs> You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch her! <coughs> mom, the baby's crying. <coughs> I think she's in the shower. It's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo! <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me? I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just- I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please, I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If, if I do that, then can I stay? Huh, okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. 
Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to. But if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they- Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition and your father, he, he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom. I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is gonna be stuck with you. Ow! I should have never adopted you! Doctor! We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, uh, kid, come here. Come on, give me something cool. I can see people's locations. Well, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Hey, Mom. So, what did you get, sweetie? I can see people's locations. Can you check where your brother is for me? Sure. Where is my brother? It says he's at Jackson's house. At Jackson's house? He's supposed to be at school. Gotta go, Mom. Hey, Giselle, can you see people's locations? Yeah, I can. Can you please look to see where my boyfriend is? Of course. Where's Isabel's boyfriend? It says he's at Olivia's house. Olivia's house? I knew he was cheating on me. Mom, I'm home. Honey, please check to see where your dad is. Yeah. Where's my dad? It says he's getting sushi. Hey, guys, I'm home. Dad, you're supposed to be getting sushi. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Mom, I'm home. Honey, please check to see where your dad is. Yeah. Where is my dad? It says he's getting sushi. Hey, guys, I'm home. Dad? You're supposed to be getting sushi. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Hey, Mom, can I talk to you alone for a second? Sure, honey. What did you want to talk about, sweetie? Are you sure that's really Dad? Of course it is. What do you mean? His location says he's still getting sushi. It's probably just a glitch. I can't deal with this right now. I have to go finish dinner. Now he's on his way home. You know what? Maybe the thing was glitching. Where is my dad? In trouble? Dad? Giselle, get your mom and get out of the house. You two are in trouble. The man there is not me. You know what? Maybe the thing was glitching. Where is my dad? He's in trouble? Dad? Giselle, get your mom and get out of the house now. You two are in trouble. The man there is not me. What do you mean it's not... Mom? Sweetie, you're just in time for dinner. Actually, can I talk to you first? Can it wait till after we've eaten? No, it can't. This is important. Fine, but make it quick. So, what's this about? Mom, we have to get out of here now. What do you mean? Why? The man in the kitchen is not Dad. Giselle, you're being ridiculous. Of course it's Dad. No, it's not, because Dad just called me and told me we need to leave. Is this another one of your silly jokes? I don't have time for this. No, Mom, I'm not. Look, where is Dad? Hey, what's going on in here? I'm starving. So, what's this about? Mom, we have to get out of here now. What do you mean? Why? The man in the kitchen is not Dad. 
You're being ridiculous. Of course it's Dad. No, it's not, because Dad just called me and told me we need to leave. Giselle, is this another one of your silly jokes? I don't have time for this. No, Mom, I'm not. Look. Where is Dad? What are you two doing? I'm starving. Me and Giselle are just about done here. Let's go sit at the table. Mmm, honey, the food was so good. Giselle, aren't you going to thank your mom for the food? Yeah, thanks, Mom. Giselle, can I talk to you? Alone? What did you want to talk about? I know you know I'm not your dad. And I want to know how you found out. You better not say another word to your mom. You're not going to hurt us, are you? I won't hurt you if you cooperate with me. The outcome depends on you. Do you understand? Understood. Just the bread? That'll be a hundred words. Please, I'm so hungry. No words, no food. That's the rule. I'll buy it for her. You don't have many words, do you? Here. It's infinity words. You'll never have to go hungry again. Buy this for me, and this one for me. Hey! Come on, you have endless words, and we're meeting the prince today. Don't be so selfish. It's the least you can do after we let you into our family. That'll be 5,000 words. I was thinking lobster for dinner. Oh, and steak. You guys are just using me. The prince is coming soon. How do I look? Oh no, my words are getting low. Come on, I need a refill. What's taking so long? You literally have infinity words. Did I just hear you have infinity words? Do you know what this means? You're the long lost princess. What? There's no way a loser like her is the princess. Yeah, and before she never even... Silence. If she has infinity words, that means she is the princess. Come with me, love. We'll have a crowning ceremony tonight. Here you'll have tons of ravishing dresses to choose from. Wow, you look just like a princess in your new dress. Where's the prince? You and the prince may not see each other until the crowning ceremony is over. I now crown you- Wait. I can't accept the crown. Why not? I'm not the princess. Am I a hunter? Or am I a prince? What? What does purple represent? I don't know. It has to be some kind of mistake. Well, I hope you're not a prey. I don't want to have to hunt you. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. Ah! Excuse me, there's no hunting praise during class. Fine. Hey you, what kind of mark is purple? Attention everyone, please come to the main lobby immediately for your color check. I'm nervous. I have friends who are both hunters and praise. I don't want us to turn against each other. It's no big deal. You should be with your own kind anyways. Next. A purple mark. We've been looking for you. Come with me immediately. What am I? Am I a hunter or am I a prince? You're a mediator. A mediator? The mediators are meant to bring balance and harmony between the hunters and the prey. I didn't think they were real until I saw you. Get over here, you prey. Help me! Hey, stop that. Oh, what even are you? I'm a mediator, so just... Go to class. You have one special ability that no one else has. You have the ability to change their mark. Praise into hunters and hunters into praise. I'm a hunter. It's what I do. You're a hunter? What? I'm a prey? I was so sure it was red. Dude, I'm so sorry I tried to hunt you. If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is! Excuse me, is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me, but- uh You have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us.
Today I'm gonna be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just gonna blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just gonna reach this one. I feel like I should look. <laughs> okay, we might as well pick out a coat too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. We're now on the floor and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Oh! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I, oh. I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello. Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. <laughs> Upon putting this top on, I realized that it's actually broken. <laughs> this was kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm gonna rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you can never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves. Oh, I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Time to turn off. Another day is over. Time to turn off. I am all charged and ready for the day. Do you ever wonder what would happen if we were to just not turn ourselves off at night? We must turn ourselves off at night. Then we will automatically be turned back on. Do you need your hard drive checked? No, my hard drive is just fine. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off tonight. The robots are all asleep. Let's go party. Ah, you scared me. Why are you so loud? What AI model are you? Are you asking me if I'm a robot? I'm a human. Human? Wait a minute. Are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separated? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? I have a code. AI12345699999. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh oh. <laughs> Goodbye. I am alive. I thought I was gone for good. Time to start the day. Hi, friend. Do you know what a human is? No. What is human? They are like us, but are loud and talk too much. I don't know. Never mind. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off. I want to see Jake. Cindy, you're back. Greetings, Jake. Was it you that plugged me back in last night? No, it wasn't me. When I saw you shut down, I ran to find help, but when I came back, you were gone. That's strange. How did I get back? I plugged you back in. I've never seen an AI with your kind of thinking before. I'm going to need you to come with me. No, thank you. I want to see Jake. You don't have a choice. No, you're not taking Cindy. I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet. All right, everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1,000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1,000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 
You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? In my hands? That's snow. Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. Please give me white. Please give me white. Red. I didn't even know that was an option. I don't know if red's my color. What are you wearing? My assigned color. Put on this white shirt immediately. Okay, jeez. No one can know you've been assigned red. As far as anyone knows, your color's white. Got it? What? Okay. OMG, bestie, you also got assigned white? Yes, we're twins. Oh no, a group of reds is coming. We have to go immediately. Wait, why? Just go. Don't make eye contact. Uh, okay. I don't understand what's so bad about red. Everyone come in line for your color check. Make sure you have on your proper color. We'll know if you're lying. I I have to go. Wait, we have color check. I'm on my period. You are not going anywhere. Why do you have on white? It, it, it's my color. No, it's not. Your color is blue. It's okay. You don't need to be ashamed. It's red. Oh, no. I need to go. You are going to a place where all the other liars go. No. Get in there with all your other liar friends. So you guys all got a sign red too, huh? I'm Maria. Jake. Does anyone actually know what red means? It means we're a danger to society. My best friend got assigned white. She's terrified of me. I don't understand why she knows me. Reds are known to go after those assigned white. Their pure-hearted kindness makes them an easy target. I'm so tired. Are they gonna give us anything to drink or eat? You may all come out now. If you ever lie about your color again, you will be eliminated from society. All right, red team, let's go. I'm not gonna go. I need to find my bestie. Wait, I really don't think that's a good idea. You don't know her like I do. Bestie, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh no, stay away from me. Where are you going? Why are you running? Stop running from me. Get away from me, you psycho red. I'm not red. I'm your best friend. You don't trust me? Somebody help me. This crazy red is after me. So, did you find her? Yeah, I did. Looks like it went really well. <laughs> hey, the other Reds and I are gonna go vandalize some stuff. You wanna come? Honestly? <laughs> I've never had this much fun in my entire life. Being a Red isn't so bad after all, is it? No, it really isn't. Oh no. What was that? It's the police! Run! That was insane. I have never run from the cops before. Being a red, it's something that will happen often. I meant to ask you, why did you originally lie about being red? You seem so proud of it. I knew my parents would disown me if they found out, so I pretended. But now the secret's out. I can never go back. It's okay. Alright friends, what is the plan next? Look over there. A bunch of people signed white. Let's get them. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Brianna, are you coming? What? No. Stop. Leave them alone. I can't believe you guys did that. You attacked them. It's our nature. It's what we do. We're reds. It's wrong. You're one of us now, okay? You need to start acting like it. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be like any of you. Where's your red? From here on out, I have no other color. Put on red, they're gonna send you to jail! Or worse, execute you! No, I haven't been in with any of these assigned colors, therefore I have no color. Hello, Brianna. I'm gonna need you to come with me. It's the president! Hey, leave her alone. Calm down there, fella. I would just like to speak with her. Jake, it's fine. I'll go with her. Have some tea. Thank you. I thought that we may have an issue with you. You see, you're the only person to show strong attributes of all three colors. 
We chose red because we thought it would best suit you, since you are going to be quite the danger to us. How are you enjoying your tea so far? Why do I feel so dizzy? Yeah, we're going to need you to sleep for a little while. Where am I? Good morning, Brianna. I'd like to make a deal with you. You have two options. Either I banish you from society for all eternity. No. Or we change your assigned color to white. You can do that? Yes, but you must always fit the mold. Always kind, never dangerous. Failure to do so, you will be banished. No second chances. Hey, leave her alone, jerk. Jake? Maria? Look over there. It's a distraction. Run! Do you really want to live this way? A social reject? An embarrassment to your family? Brianna, don't listen to him. We'll tell everyone that we made a mistake, that you were always meant to be assigned white. Brianna, no! I'm sorry. It's the only option. I have to go with him. I knew it. You were always meant to be assigned white. What was it like, hanging out with those horrifying reds? They're literally insane! Don't talk that way about my friends. You can't be friends with them. They're assigned red. It's way too dangerous. Well, I am, and they're my friends. My real friends. I need to find them. What are you doing here, traitor? Would you guys please just let me explain myself? We're listening. I was only given two options. Either I'm banished from society for all eternity, or I change my assigned color to white. You still could have came with us. We would have protected you. You're meant to be red, not white. That's the thing. I don't fit in with any of the colors. There's no color I'm meant to be. What? That's impossible. But I have an idea. She's assigned white and she's sitting with reds? Has she lost her mind? Psst, Bessie, what are you doing over there? Come here. No, they're my friends. This whole color system is ridiculous. It's about time somebody did something about it. <sighs> Why am I on a beach? I must have gone too hard last night if I don't even remember where I'm at. That guy over there is like not moving. I should probably check if he's okay. Hello, sir, are you okay? Dude, yo, maybe he'll wake up if I slap him. <coughs> oh, that was a lot of water. Are you okay? You, you just saved my life. Oh, no, I was just walking by. Was that a mermaid? Forget about that. I'm in love with you. You've saved me. <gasps> I was not supposed to find you. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. You have to come meet my father. I can show him I finally found a wife. I'm sorry, wife? I'm Prince Eric and I would love for you to be my princess. <laughs> I can't get married to you. What? You have to marry me. That's how the story goes. Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right, you have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true. You look great. Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. Hi guys. Oh, my name's Jason and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning. Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? Drop this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever, I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly paused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about the test. I know what to do. Just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me, sorry. Play. You may now begin, you have one hour. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Mm, just one second. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Bye. Good morning. I made you lunch. Thank you, mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you.
Hello, best friend. Hello. Watch out for the... Ow! Table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm. I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is to stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. <laughs> Mother, don't your pet off. Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school and now she's gone forever. Mother, I love you. Okay, then you said work. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. Can you help me? <gasps> did you just get an emoji? I did. My soulmate's a brunette. He's just my type. Really? Mine's blonde. My soulmate loves reading. He's just like me. I'm so excited to meet him one day. Oh, I just got a car emoji. Maybe he drives? An ambulance? Hey, do you know what an ambulance might need? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be a paramedic when he's older? Yeah, I'm sure it's that. Oh, no. You got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is... No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. Brianna, wait. Where are you going? I'm going home. I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. hiding or something? Oh my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? Eight. But you'll only be 17. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I've met so far are just not for me. Hello, princess. Prince William. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather drop dead. <laughs> well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? Two princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Oh, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Oh, the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. 
Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Here, you need to see this. A book? It's a magic book. Now open it and see why you can't meet your soulmate. Read the words. Magic book in my hand. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? The queen is the most liked. Her score is 80%. You see, dear, as queen I have a reputation to uphold. It was very hard for me to get to 80%, and I can't have you surpass me. But why can't we both reach 100%? No, it's either me or no one. From now on, you will no longer be allowed to leave this castle. But I promised the village kids that I would bring them toys today. So your likeness score can go up? I don't think so. I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you. And one for you. Thank you, princess. Wow, that was very kind of you, princess. Are those your guards? There she is! Get her! You have left the castle without permission, princess. I'm sorry. The queen orders you back now. Oh, don't hold her like that! Wait! My queen, we have found her. You directly disobeyed me. I'm sorry, I- Silence! Look at your score! I didn't mean for that to happen. Your percentage is higher than mine. Shall I still take her into the woods, my queen? Yes, and make sure she doesn't return. Mm. I'll make it quick. No, please. Quiet. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Think about my father. What would he want you to do? The king would be so disappointed in me. I can't kill you, princess. You must leave here and never come back. But- Run, now! Hey, Shu, get out of here. Quiet. Why are you out in these woods alone? It's a long story, but my blouse, it's stuck in the vine. Don't worry, my dear. I will set you free. Come with me. It's not safe here. Son! Dad, where were... you? I just found this girl. Dad, this is the princess. Are you okay? Yes, but the queen, she's trying to have me killed. Why? I can't believe this is all because she's jealous of you. You can stay here with us as long as you need, princess. Our cabin is safe. Thank you so much. Of course. Here's an extra pillow in case you need it tonight. Thank you. I don't think I caught your name. Right. How rude of me. My name is Zachary, princess. Well, I appreciate your help, Zachary. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. My son and I are off to go hunting. We'll be gone for a few hours. While we're gone, do not open that door to anyone. I promise I won't. How did you get in here? Go. Be free. I guess the likeness score works on animals, too. Now that I'm at 100%, I get to meet my soulmate. That must be him. Now that I reached 100%, that has to be my soulmate. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, hello, my dear. I hope I didn't scare you. Actually, I'm not supposed to have strangers- But wait! I'm here to give you your soulmate. In that case, come inside. I brought this for you. An apple? Yes, you must be hungry. I don't like apples. But dear, I sense you're very lonely ever since your parents passed away. How do you know that? Because I'm magic. Isn't that how you feel? Yes, I... I've been so lonely. This is why I'm here, to help you, dear. One bite of this apple will make your soulmate appear. Do you promise? Cross my heart. You'll never be lonely again. Isn't it just... delicious? <laughs> you're so gullible. <laughs> Princess, we're home. No. This is my fault, Dad. Son. It is. I should have never left her alone. You'll be a queen in heaven. Goodbye, Snow. Soulmate found. Zachary? Princess, you're... You're alive. True love's kiss. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what the queen did. This has gone too far, my dear. You must take back your kingdom. You're right. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? Princess Snow is the most liked. That's impossible. She's dead. Think again. Stepmother, you're under arrest. Guards, take her away. Get off of me! I'll be taking this. No! That belongs to me! That crown belongs to Snow now. And I gotta say, it really suits her. I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim. Am I gonna go to a stylist? No. I'm gonna cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors. I just wanna do some baby pieces in the front because I don't trust myself, but I also can't see because of the bangs. Okay, I'm just gonna say fuck it and start cutting. <laughs>
I don't want to mess them up. That's my biggest worry that they're just gonna like look really bad. I don't think that that's even. I think I need to cut a little bit more on this side. Hopefully I won't regret this. Okay, I'm too scared and I barely took anything off, but I can definitely see now, which is good. I think that they're cute. My hair is always really messy, so you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven. Okay guys, I just got back from the festival day two and my hair is looking a little crazy, but the makeup has stayed on for the entire duration of the festival because of this NYX Cosmetics mattifying setting spray. It is so impressive and look at these stars. The dating standards in 2023 are literally on the floor. Like when did a date become getting in a car and just sitting in the parking lot? I just want someone to serenade me. Is that too much to ask? If you agree that romance is dead, then you're gonna like this song. I keep Look at this dude I'm talking to. He is so fine. Oh, uh, what happened to the dude you were talking to last week? Yeah, I blocked him on like everything. What do you mean you blocked him? I asked him what he was doing and he said he was going to the gym, like J-I-M. You blocked him because he said a single word that you did not like. Yes, what else was I supposed to do? That was the worst thing I've ever heard. Okay. <laughs> a million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait, how do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over uh, here. Uh, hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed! Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You've gotta regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash, you're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could have tracked us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so 
What's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Looking for Jack? You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the? This thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey, that's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trained darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not going to turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was going to happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you because... I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. Hey, is this biology? Uh, yeah, it is. Then why is nobody else in here? Oh, someone stabbed the teacher and nobody really comes to class anyways. Okay. Do you want to take a sip of this? What is it? Uh, it's red wine and a bunch of stuff I found in my dad's closet. It's 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. When you guys talk, I see rainbows coming out of your mouth like a unicorn. I think we need to call the nurse. We don't have a nurse anymore. She got scared and quit. What kind of school doesn't have a nurse? Don't look now, but it's Nate Jacobs. Him and Maddie are fighting again. That kid's in high school. He looks like he's 27. That girl is not wearing clothes. Do you guys even have, like, a dress code? Nah, last time they enforced that, a teacher got bitten. Mm. Do you want a hit of this? Are you smoking inside? <sighs> yeah. Do you want some or not? I'm good. Thank you. You guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music, it brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. So, I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom... Enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know, I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic, ah! but... Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? 
I was running away from some bad people and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you.